Hello, welcome to my new tutorial about making a multiple choice question using JavaScript, HTML and CSS. For that now I will start the program. Um, I have used Sublime Text as my ID. Now file, save as, I will save it as multiple.html. Now I will start dot now html write html then in body i will make a form and i'll give a name of the form as name is equal to my form now i'll make a label and three buttons for displaying questions and options so label q u e s question now similarly I'll make three buttons I need here BR also for changing the line now no. input type is equal to button I'll write value equals to OPT I want option one and I'll give the name as OPT one now similarly I need other three buttons also I need other three buttons also so control C then control V to second button third button fourth button up to here four option is displayed and I need the other one for next button so now I will uh, give a different value next uh, this I'll give the name N X T B T N. Um, now, option one. This is option two. This is option three, and this is for option four. And I'll give the name also option one, option two, option three, and option four. These are the different name that I have given. Uh, I'll give id to the label id is equal to label label i'll give the name my label my label control s now what we'll see look the output open in browser this is the thing we're seeing here control control plus 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 i'm zooming it now i want to display a real questions and answers so for that i'll make a script here s c r i p t script javascript code now i'll make an array of questions so my q s equals to I'll give the questions here. Who is the president of US? This is for displaying the question. Here comma. Then for option B O S bus. For another option. T R U M P Trump for another question Jack and for another question Zill and the correct answer is first option second option so I'll give the answer also as two control hash no I've saved this saved it I'll give a semicolon also here. Now I'll make a function here. Now I'll make a function here. Load Q U E S load question is the function that I have made and 
the work of this the work of this function is to display questions and options so load question so in my level i must display the who is the president of us so what i have to is document dot get element by id what is the id of that is my level here yeah? id is my level so my level dot i n n e r s t m l dot inner s t m l inside this i have to display question so equals to who is the president of us all right big us u dot s i have to display this so my my q s my q s and as you know the array you must have some knowledge about array for doing it this is the q u my q s 0 0 so i'll write 0 and here also 0 this will display the question in the element having id my level but i must call this function to load the question for that i will load the function i'll call the function on load so on load equals to load question so control s i'll do like this look here who is the president of us is displayed now again i must display the four options also i given the name to the buttons so i'll simply write my form dot my form dot opt1 dot value my form dot opt1 dot value equals to my q u e s what i'll write zero and n bar is one similarly in option two i'll display opt2 dot value is equal to two similarly in option three button i will display opt3 dot value is equal to this and again in fourth i'll display as like this control s now when i refresh everything will be loaded but something is wrong here what i have done my form dot my form dot opt1 dot value is equal to look i made a mistake here my qs only my qs only the name of the array is my qs only so that was the mistake now again refresh look here yeah. who is the president of us bush trump zack zill and next now i am going to implement the next button here for that i will add some of the questions here just do comma here and add another question here um, what other question i want is um, where is 
माउंट एवरेस्ट इंडिया नेपाल भूटान श्रीलंका एंड द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज वन टू यार ऑल्सो द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज टू ओनली सो आई एल राइट हियर टू नो कंट्रोल एस नाउ लुक हियर दिस जीरो 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 दिस इज द वैल्यू फॉर दिस एरे एंड फॉर एसेसिंग दिस क्वेश्चन आई नीड all everything one 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 so for this i'll implement a different thing here i'll implement a new variable a equals to or i equals to zero and the value of i is zero so i will write here i i i and here also i count for us this has no any effect here the same thing will be displayed now when now when i click this next button now when i click this next button here then i must change the question so i'll make a new function for that function Change, see a change, it change. Q U E S, change question. Now, change question. When next button is click, the value of I must be increased. So I is equal to I plus one. Control S. Now, when this that next button is click, I must call this function. So I'll just simply copy that. And here, on here I see can click equals to change question. Now when I click the next button, change question will be called. And when change question is called, I the value of I will be increased, but the question is not loaded here. So again, I'll load the question here after next. So look here. This is the first question. When I click next, then another question is displayed. Similarly, you can increase any number of question here. Just putting comma and again like this and write something. Question comma PT PT. Come on, OPT, third option, fourth option, and the last one will be answer. Now, now up to this we have done, and next, next, like this way, we can click next to change the question. Now, what we must do is when I click. Any of the button here, any of the button, I must check check the answer. I must check the answer. So, what I will do is, I will make a new function here. Make a function here, f u n c t i n function. Check answer. I'll give the name of the function as check answer. This this is. Mistake now. Control S. Now, for checking answer, this check answer must be called every time I click the buttons. So, <coughs> <coughs> so, so, in every button I use on click event, when I click, I will call the Function, but I must give some information that which bottom I have clicked. Now, 
when I click this button I'll give the information as I have clicked one button and I can just copy this control C here I'll introduce another and this is second button so second button is clicked I give information passing parameter uh, this is third and the last one control V this is the fourth control S now what should we check we must check this one if this thing is equal to this or not if this thing is equal to this or not if same then we will get the right answer if different the answer is wrong so I'll do the same thing here yes here here now if I'll convert this string to a I'll convert this string to a integer so answer equals to now for that I'll use P A R S E pass int this is the function to convert this I have saved the answer in the form of a string so I must convert it into integer so answer is equal to then that is um, my q s i i 0 1 2 3 4 5 that is that is i 5 so i 5 and if ans equals to if answer equals to a if this answer is equal to a then I am correct not equal to the site right, equals to equals to a then a lot correct answer control s now just look here now the answer is second so when I click this second correct answer and I haven't done any condition for else so write else a lot w r n z wrong answer control s now you can look here for this question when I click boost it must display incorrect answer so wrong answer and when I display when I click prompt then correct answer now my multiple choice question is working as a charm now so in this way you can increase any functionality in this code thank you for viewing this video don't forget to like and subscribe the video thank you